Melissa's point where you said Jews had an education, but like even if they did have an education, what's the use of having an education where there's um what's the use of having an education where there's no point in which you it'll be useful to you? And the few generations that did have an education, most of them were killed already. So it's like if there's like these amount the, these number of people that that know how to read, that know how to spell and do stuff, they will put in concentration camps and killed immediately. Like, yeah, like it um, states in several articles that during the Holocaust, um, millions of Jews were put in, millions of educated Jews were put in um, concentration camps and they killed off. So the whole point of education, it doesn't really matter because the future generations didn't learn how to read and that's what eventually mattered. Um, and also, your team, um, to what Isaiah said about being taken out of the, being taken from their homeland and into America, is the worst thing. I think it would be worse for the um, Jews who had to see their own homes destroyed. And even though they knew where to go, what's the point of knowing something when it doesn't help you? Because if you knew that you could travel this tunnel to go so, to go to some safe haven or somewhere, wouldn't you think that the Nazis who grew up there would also know that? When your own neighbor is now becoming your enemy, there's nothing that you can do but take the consequences and suffer, even if you've done nothing wrong to them. So that being said, it's like if you have, it's like your own family killing you because even if it, it was just a certain look that you had to have, and it wasn't, of course, it wasn't true for everyone to look that way. That means that they're a certain race, but even like you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> Okay, you got it. Yes. Um, um, based on what Cleveland said about the um, it um, what did he say? Skin the skin tone. The skin tone. Um, even if you were light, if you had one drop, one drop of black blood, you were known as black. And if you were white, it it doesn't matter because if you were, if you had one drop of white blood, um, you wouldn't be considered white. I mean. Yeah, if you had one drop of white blood, but you were black, you would still be considered as black. Because white doesn't mask black. And then also based on the movie Queen, where she was light-skinned. And um, when she, well, when I watched the movie, it's a lady told her that if um, she had sex with a white um, white man and a black baby popped out, she would be known as black because um, people saw her as white. It's your guy's turn. Um, I believe that, um, counter, I believe the Holocaust was worse, um, was the worst thing that happened to people, um, was the slavery in history. There's only one certain group of people who could dominate the world because of having blue eyes and blonde hair also based based on it. You were healthy, you worked. If you was not if you was not you were sent to death by hanging by hanging and hailing toxic gases. You have you have you have you ending shift no ending shift at all, you were then day to better. <laughs> um, I would like to counter what Lloyd said. It was, um, I would like to counter what Lloyd said, based on like um, what uh, Ms. Duncan brought up the point where, where she where she talked about the death. Like once you died, like all the memories and stuff is over. Like, but when you talked about the gas, um, like after you died, it's done. But when you compare that to where a slave person or a human being was being whipped, tortured, you have days after days. Um, little little children are watching like their parents being raped. Days after days, these memories are still in your head. Um, your head. <laughs> so what? <laughs> so would you? Well, um, so would you compare like memories after that? Still, would you still compare that to like, oh, I'm in a, I'm in a gas gas chamber and then I'm done, and then maybe like God, you will probably be in heaven, but you are still sacrificing your body. You're still being what? Blood, tears. Like you watch Roots, you saw that they their feet their feet was chopped off. And also, like you say, like counter, you say certain things like that. But also, they, you have to remember the difference between like the house, the house Negro. He loved this master because he got everything. 
like he at least slaves gotten privileges. Some of them like you could get married, you could you at least had a good feast, your master feed you. Like your master actually cared for you if it was like a house negro. And like the same thing if he was a field negro. He didn't want you to die because you he making good money off of you. But in concentration camps, they didn't care about you. They just wanted you to work. If you die, they ain't, they didn't care. They just said, all right, they, they, they get some more people. Okay, if they run out of how did you have business? Um, ding, ding, ding. This will be your final argument. So I'm going to give you two minutes for you to prepare what the final argument is. Who do you think is winning? <laughs> confer any longer and here we go okay i'll find the argument um what, what do we say oh sorry yeah affirmative affirmative holocaust was worse than slavery because during the holocaust a lot of people always just remember that jews are being hurt and killed off but what a lot of people seem to forget that even though jews were widely targeted and it seems to be put in media more popularly that other groups such as homosexuals black people and several and um other political parties who felt um to disagree with um the t any tyrannical um leaders at the time such as hitler and others and um any other type of religion that didn't follow the criteria in which the like i said hitler the tyrannical leader didn't want others to follow and also um during slavery like you guys said people the blacks were, um black people are still put in certain stereotypes and it still affects them today as far as like the things that they do but during the um, Holocaust, it still leads on to things like now, like during that time, homosexuals were targeted. Don't we think to now, like you could still recently see um, how certain gangs target um, homosexuals, so that evolved from the Holocaust. And gangs have um, even started or formed um, had to just to target Jews specifically, like in synagogues and things like that. Not there are very few synagogues where um, the places kept places um, such as. Yeah, such as, yeah, religious places for Jews are widely targeted, such as burdens and things like that. And lastly, um, yeah, the Holocaust was just worse all around because it, it offered um, a lot more torture to them. Thank you for your argument. Slavery. Okay, um, um, all right, I have some. Okay, 
Um, you, um, when you, when you spoke, you, I know, we have more information, hold on. Um, when you speak, you refer to the Holocaust as back then, and when you, and when you refer to slavery, you, you refer to it, you refer to it now. So, um, why, how can you compare something that has been going on for so long to something that happened for a, a small period of time? And also, um, you're saying is, is, um, wait, oh yeah, um, okay. Uh, the Holocaust ended, no problems, and slavery led to bigger problems, um, like even now. No problems, I'm just Shh. gangs and them. You cannot speak while they're speaking. Blacks can't even walk down the street without being accused. Um, in the movie, um, Prom Night that we watched in, um, in, um, reading, yeah, in reading class, it took them, um, two years ago just to integrate a prom in Mississippi. And, um... Um, um, Mr. P, he's Jewish. He, he, he has a good job. He's not stopped on the street for just, for just being a certain color. Um, they, they don't look at his hair color and his eyes and be like, oh, he's Jewish. Oh, we should stop him on the street. They look at a black person. Oh, he's black. He have his pants sagging. Oh, then he probably might have drugs in the back of his, his car. And, um, um, the, um, Atlantic Ocean. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, um, um, they use the Atlantic Ocean as a symmetry on the Middle Passage. Sharks will follow the Middle Passage around, um, um, as, they will follow them as food. So if you're, if you're considering something as, they, they will come being considered as animals. And, um, Jewish, you don't see that today. You don't see them calling people animals. But on the street, they, they, they.